Hi and welcome to another human design video. This video is going to be specifically for projectors. It comes from a question that I received recently and honestly a question that I've received a lot of times. Also a comment which says something like this. I'm a projector and I learned that I'm not an energy type or that I don't have an energy like other types and it actually feels really disempowering and i always say that human design is meant to feel empowering and so this video was really important for me to come and bring you this hopefully to shift your perspective if you're a projector around this whole energy theme so welcome my name is trinidad and i love spreading the knowledge of human design i truly believe it has the potential to awaken us and to raise children that are confident in themselves, that love themselves, and that ultimately create a better world. So welcome to Sunrise Human Design. All right, so projectors. I wrote down three things that can possibly shift your perspective if you're someone who feels disempowered by having less energy than the other types. So I hope that by the end of this video, you will feel differently and really understand the reason why your energy operates the way it does. Because a lot of the times, that's the answer in shifting our perspective, is asking, okay, well, my energy is this way, but why? What is the purpose behind that energy? And that a lot of the times gives us a purpose or a reason for us to understand that we're designed exactly the way that we came here to be. So first I'm going to do a little intro to explain the whole energy thing and then I'm going to give you three things that can shift your perspective about this having less energy as a projector. Okay, so why do projectors have less energy? In human design, we call the generators, the manifesting generators, and the manifestors energy types. And then we call the projectors and the reflectors non-energy types. In my opinion, this is a little bit of disempowering language because who the heck is going to like hearing that they're non-energetic and for me whenever i use human design as a tool i want the person receiving this information to feel like it's helping them out to feel like they love themselves more right away i would say that the language isn't helpful because obviously it's not that you don't have energy it's just that your energy is here to do different things and that's what we're going to get into but basically the generators have the sacral turned on and the manifestors have a motor to the throat and so those types have more of like this consistent feeling of giving especially the generators who are here to consistently be working consistently be putting out energy as they respond to life whereas reflectors and projectors don't have that and that's why we call you non-energy types now why can this feel disempowering because as a projector, it's very probable that throughout your lives, you did feel this wound of not having enough energy. It's very probable that as a projector, you spent your life trying to go to the rhythm of the world and you're not here to go to the rhythm of the world. It's very probable that you looked always at people around you, even if this was an unconscious process and you felt like you couldn't keep up or you started at some point calling yourself lazy because maybe you didn't want to work like everybody else was working or you didn't want to do as much as other people were doing. Or conversely, maybe other people started calling you lazy. You started pointing out how you just wanted to rest more than they did or than other people did. This can also feel painful because as a projector, it's very common that you want to have more energy. And so somebody telling you that you don't, it kind of makes you feel like that's not going to be possible for you. It's very common for projectors to be burnt out, giving out their energy in more places than they should. And so hearing in the state that you don't have energy or you're not meant to have energy can also be very devastating. Okay, but we have to shift your perspective because, oh my gosh, as a projector, you're part of 20% of the population that has a really, really special purpose in this planet and we need you to feel happy and good and loving to who you are so that you can help us with this role that is so important that you came here to do. So let's understand the why of your energy as a projector and let's shift your perspective. Okay, so I don't know if you knew this, but projectors are the newest type. You came into the world the latest because you came with a specific task to guide us in this kind of transition that we're going through in humanity. You can probably tell everything in the world is in chaos right now. And that's not just a random thing. It's because we're in this transition into a new 
earth. And you are here to help us with such an important role in this transition into the new earth. However, you're not here to kind of put out new energy, keep doing new things and keep doing and doing and doing. You're actually here as an energy guide. Let's take the example of generators who are energy types. Generators are always full of energy, especially if they're doing things right, which is something that's going to start happening more and more as more people go waking up and following their sacral. When generators are operating and creating new things and working day after day, they are in their energy flow and they can't really see and tell what they're doing. Sometimes they feel lost and they're just going this way, but they're kind of like in this energy jam and they're not able to really look up and see. Now, as a projector, you are able to see things clearly and you're here to guide that energy. You're here to be discerning of who to guide as well and to see who is really doing great in the world. Who do I really want to work with and help that person do even better things in the world or do what they're doing in a better way, in a more efficient way. Projectors are here for efficiency and you can guide the energy types into efficiency, which is a huge, huge role that you're here to do. That's the first thing that should shift your perspective is it's in your role of what you're here to do to not have that same energy quality as other beings because you're here to be able to look at energy. And when you look at energy, to be able to see things that other people cannot. And so instead of being kind of envious of the energy that other people have, you can start feeling proud of the gifts that you have which is to see very easily how energy needs to shift to become more efficient the second thing i want to say is a little bit about what your aura looks like and how it works when we're talking about human design we're actually talking about auras now your aura as a projector is very focused and penetrating it kind of looks like a funnel like a pointy thing going that way and when you interact with someone you're kind of pointing your aura at them and being able to see them really really clearly really deeply so much so that people can get really uncomfortable when they're one-on-one -on -one with a projector and i'm sure that you're gonna relate to that or that you felt that before where people kind of can get a little bit uncomfortable with you now, there's a reason why you have this pointy aura, which is to be able to go really deep into a person, into a project, into whatever it is, and understand the depths of it all. I'm going to give you an analogy that I learned from Jenna Zoe. She has a really good analogy that I always give my clients, which is as a projector, you're kind of this little bird that is on a branch. All the animals are down there, the lions, the giraffes, the pigs, and they're all walking and they're, they're walking together and, and they feel each other's presence and there's noise and they're just moving forward, not really knowing where they're going. And you're this little bird on a tree on this branch and you're able to look down and you see it so clearly. You see so clearly that if they go left, they're going to find something they don't want to find and that if they go right they're going to find the river that they're looking for and so whenever these animals need your help they can just look up and say hey little bird do we go left or do we go right and for you it's just such a simple thing that you're looking at where you're like well you got to go this way and that is your purpose here whatever it is that you're meant to work with or whoever it is that you're meant to work with that's what you always should have in mind is that for you what comes easy is something that is super valuable that doesn't come easy for other people so always remember this penetrating pointy focused aura that helps you to see what others don't and thirdly i want to talk to you about the conditioning of the world which is this conditioning of if you're busy, then that means you're successful, where most people, like 90% of society is going around doing, 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 doing. Most people are still in this very subconscious, very robotic mode. Most people not finding the inner peace that they want, not feeling aligned to a higher purpose. You're kind of here to break that. A lot of the conditioning that we received, even as a generator, I can tell you this, growing up is that you need to be doing to have value, that you can't stop doing because then you're lazy. So because you have such a different way of operating and as a projector, you're going to need more rest. You're going to need to do 
nothing more of the time. You're going to need to relax and enjoy yourself more of the time. You're really kind of this catalyst of change for this new world that we're creating. Now, what's really interesting is that the founder of human design talks of projectors as the new leaders, the new CEOs. Can you imagine that? But of course, the vision of a CEO does not go with the energy of a projector, right? A CEO being super busy, having meetings all of the time, not really having a personal life. So this shows you that actually the world is changing to need a different kind of CEO, a CEO that is in their office, relaxing, listening to podcasts, and that when somebody needs their help, they come in, they can do a 30 minute consult, get everything they need, get out, and then you're back to enjoying yourself as a leader. So think of yourself as a new leader, as someone who's really meant to tune into what you need as a person and to kind of portray that out into the world as it's possible to be successful and also be this. It's possible to be successful and also be resting most of the time. It's possible to be successful and also work two hours a day, for example. So it's my experience with clients and people around me that when projectors start really aligning to who they are and also that means getting the rest they need, it means following their strategy and authority, all of these things, that there's a natural process of starting to love your projectorness, but it takes a little bit of time. And it's normal to start with this like, oh, I hate that I don't have energy. I hate that I'm not an energy type. But little by little, you'll see, you'll start loving the fact that you're meant to rest more, that you're meant to be maybe learning about what you love to learn more, but being like less active really like we're moving into a world where enjoyment of life being in the present moment being versus doing is becoming more and more important and you're someone who's here to show us the way so i just want to end this video by reminding you when something feels disempowering let it go look for a new perspective because everything that you're learning about and every tool that you're using for yourself should feel empowering and i really hope that through these three little arguments i helped you if you were someone feeling a little bit disempowered about having less energy as a projector that i could generate a little shift in your perspective because you are so important to us in this world we need you as a guide and the more that you're feeling happy self-loving the more you learn about yourself the more you learn about the systems you love the more you're going to be helping us to move into this new earth it's based in peace love and acceptance of all so thank you so much for tuning in leave me a comment letting me know what you want me to talk about next and i'll see you in the next video bye